Our platform, we call it the musical brain, and the musical brain is this combination of all of this cultural information we have based on our analysis of the web and this in-depth audio analysis information. Um, and we make that available to developers for non-commercial um, uses at developer.echonest.com. So that right now there are thousands of developers who have registered um, uh, with us and have access to our tools to build stuff. And for commercial uses, people can go nuts and build all kinds of applications. We use the same platform um, for commercial uses, so larger commercial music services are hitting the same platform, um, and that's how we make money. We charge them to access that platform to power music search or music recommendation or even some of these mashup tools. So some of the most interesting applications that we see often come from those non-commercial developers who are who their motivations aren't necessarily uh, building a building a business. They're just trying to build the next really cool application. So we've seen um, some very interesting uh, music visualizers, and you can see a couple of those up at the developer site. We we post some of our featured applications all the time that developers are building. I'd say hands down our favorite application right now that someone's built is uh, morecowbell.dj. Um, which uh, is a pretty simple concept. It basically automatically overdubs Cowbell and Christopher Walken perfectly in time over any track. So you, you can check that out. We, uh, we were a bit surprised here at how popular it became. I mean, I think it was doing 130,000 overdub Cowbell tracks a day um, for a while. And so it was this really, I mean, this is our non-commercial application, uh, but it was slamming our analysis servers. It, it, uh, just quickly how it works. The web app is pretty simple. Uh, you, a user uploads a track. Now that track is handed to our analysis platform that tells the application, here's where the downbeats are on the track and here's where the song sections are. Um, so then the user can automatically decide how much cowbell they want and, um, and we'll because we know where the downbeats are, we can automatically overdub that perfectly in time. And then Christopher Walken uh, shouting stuff from that more cowbell skit actually comes in at the section break. So at the end of, say, a verse, that's where you hear um, him kind of shout stuff out. Um, that's definitely my favorite application so far. One of the things we really want to do, and, and, and it's a big piece of the strategy behind opening up our platform to developers, is not to just enable uh, kind of must-have applications like I need a search engine on my website or I need a recommendation platform. Um, that's absolutely um, a core of, of our business. Um, but we really are engaging with the development community and opening up our platform is about finding the next generation of applications um, and, and helping to enable those. And some of the most interesting areas that we've seen are in the mashup and uh, manipulation side. So. If you look at what you can do within your iTunes music player today um, and compare it to what you could do with a Sony Walkman in the, in the in early 90s, you can change the order of the songs, and that's about it. Um, what we want to help facilitate is letting users actually beat match and crossfade and create mixes that sound like professional DJ mixes, but you don't need to be an expert in Ableton Live or some of these more complicated software packages to do so. Um, uh, using our analysis platform that automatically extracts all that musical data, we can power drag and drop remix and mashup applications. Um, right now, that's definitely on the kind of it, from the nice to have or, or must have world, recommendation has moved from nice to have to must have. These mashup tools are definitely way still in the nice to have. And depending on who who I'm out talking to, um, large commercial music websites, some guys will just raise their eye, eyebrows at you when you talk about some of these tools. They're not even on the roadmap. Um, but definitely there's some other players in the mobile space and others who recognize that this is something that they really need to, uh, to uh, you know, focus on to engage users. Um, but those are some of the most interesting apps that we're working on today. Um, certainly the recommendation and search stuff, um, we're just getting started there. Um, but the mashup and kind of in music games and some of those more interactive music apps are some of the cooler ones that we're working on.